Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Yesterday, by Hall Summit, Louisiana, there was two earthquakes. The first one being a magnitude 2.5, which would have been a foreshock for the one that came later in the afternoon, the 3.5. News reports talk about these two earthquakes, but they don't tell you what caused them. The first earthquake, which was a magnitude 2.5 at 7.38 a.m., was a foreshock for the magnitude 3.5. That occurred about 2.39 p.m. local time. The 2.5, um, three people sent in reports to USGS saying that they felt it, and USGS gave it an intensity level of 4 which means it was felt indoors by many people, outdoors by a few. At night, some may have been woken up. Dishes, windows, and doors were rattling. And you may have noticed automobiles rocking noticeably there in the parking lot or your driveway. Here's the location of those few felt reports that came in. Intensity level 4, right there. And we got the Red River um, Bull Bayou Outland Gas Fields. And then we got Intensity Level 2, two responses from there. This earthquake was shallow, about 3.1 miles in depth. And the magnitude 3.5, that was the same depth. And we got 34 people that said they felt it. Intensity Level 4. Here's the felt reports. And up over here is Shreveport. Yeah. Now, what's interesting, you may... Uh, well, you can't really see it here on this map. Okay, let's bring it out for Google Earth. You'll see this red line that I drawn out. And I have talked about how all the wastewater disposal along different fault zones, transform faults, has increased the pressure which has been reactivating earthquakes. And this here, this red line, is what's called the Red River Transform Fault. It's a spreading zone. And as the Earth's magnetic field weakens more and more, uh, these old rift zones are becoming more active. And it doesn't help when they're pumping water into the ground. Yeah, um, rapidly increasing the reactivation of these faults. Now I'm going to bring this over because what's going to happen is over here on the left towards the west is the Sambine fault zone. It's an area of compression and uplift. And let's see, I got a bunch of stuff over here by Dallas marked out. Yeah, and the different faults. <laughs> can't help but laugh. I'm sorry, I don't live there. But you guys should be told about this information and what to expect. Yeah. You know, when the New Madrid fault had its major earthquake, this Red River actually flowed backwards because of that earthquake. Let me bring this out. Up over here is the uh, New Madrid fault zone. Drawn out in yellow is the Mississippi Embankment. This Red River Transform Fault, which is spreading, extends all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. And, um, there's a lot of different tectonic movements that created the Gulf of Mexico. We got the spreading, and then we got the North American Plate and the South American Plate. Um, they have pulled apart, and then crashed back together several times. Seems like everything from the past with these ancient rifts that stopped their movement have been reactivated as the Earth's magnetic field um, continues to weaken and weaken. We're seeing more and more earthquakes in diverse places. Um, are you prepared for an earthquake? I found it interesting, too, as I was doing the research for this, that down over by, let's see, St. Louis, I believe, um, there are several faults, that, uh, New Orleans, excuse me, New Orleans, there are several faults, ancient faults, that have also been recently reactivated. 
Now they're claiming, which has been disagreed by some scientists, it's because of the water that is um, being extracted from that area. There's a lot more faults through here, but here we got the Teapot Baton Rouge fault system. And then we got McCloud fault. And there is a tiny little fault down here, right through um, yeah, town, through the subdivision, called the Gentilly fault. And it goes along, let's see, what interstate is that? 90. It goes right underneath Interstate 90. And then we got, or Highway 90. Interstate 10 and 10. Yeah, you can see it right there. I haven't been able to find any USGS scenarios uh, for large earthquakes in this location or up over here where the recent earthquakes occurred. Um, but as you know, um, any fault zone, <laughs> yeah, this is a long one, is capable of having a magnitude 7.5 or greater. I hope you're prepared. Um, if you have any questions or thoughts, put it down below. All documents are listed below if you're uh, watching this on YouTube. Um, always be prepared. Be safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.